ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. Hello and welcome to another video. The first video I'm going to do in this little installment series is a question that came to me from Twitter. I'm now going to show the tweet. So, what I was simply asked was, is Chris Eubanks Jr. going to ever kind of outweigh, or my interpretation of the question, is he ever going to outweigh the hype as opposed to his talent? And uh, will he always be a big commodity in the super middleweight, middleweight, even maybe uh, super, what, whatever middleweight, light have middleweight, from 160, 168, 175, wherever we're going. I'm ramble. I, I'm not super familiar with Chris Eubanks. I won't lie and say that. Every time he's had a breakout performance, except for this last one against James Gale, he's basically lost. He's somewhat the British uh, social media phenomenon. He's a guy who has captured a lot of people's interest based off of entertaining workout videos and a charismatic personality. And his father coming off kind of strange, but very likable. His father reads poems, dresses very nice. And I think because of that, you can equate a Chris Eubank Jr. to someone maybe like, oh, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., which is maybe the best comparison. Because in both instances, even though the son is fighting, it was really the father's show, despite the son, their current talent. With Chavez Jr., it was always about Chavez Sr. in the corner. If you remember, I forget what fight it was. It might have been the um, famed Sergio Martinez fight. They had uh, visuals of Chavez Sr. running to the corner to give instructions. The stories within the fight were always about the, fa the father. With Eubanks, he's an entertaining and charismatic figure who has very good hand speed and has a great physique and just looks the part very well, and he makes fight week fun. That being said, he may just blend into the crowd if his name wasn't what it was and his father isn't so engaging. I think what makes him special is he has aspects of what we consider a great fighter. He's kind of like... Even though he has an IBO belt, a quote-unquote world title that we don't distinguish as one of the major four world titles. I don't think anyone necessarily views him as a world-level fighter just yet. I think they view him as a fringe-level guy who beat James DeGale, who whatever is going on with him, it appears something is going wrong with James DeGale is the safest thing we can say is something's... Something unpleasant has happened with James DeGale, where he's no longer um, what we had hoped James DeGale once was. It appears since the Badu Jack fight, he has greatly regressed. His high point of his career was the Andre Durrell win. But as we talk about this in another video I'm going to make this week and release with Brandon Rios, time is slipping by for a lot of these fighters. And if you think about it, that DeGale versus Durrell fight wasn't that recent. Even though it might feel recent to us, living our lives, being entertained by the sport of boxing, it's been a while, and fighters get old, and fighters age out of the sport. To the original question, do I think Eubank Jr. will be a interesting, profitable fighter in the division? Of course I do. I think he's going to be a very, very integral part to this division, and in many ways, I think at middleweight and super middleweight, outside of Canelo, and... Um, Daniel Jacobs, Golovkin, and even Demetrius Andrade, Chris Eubank is a dancing partner. A lot of people can bring up the name and maybe make as much money as any of those fights except for a Canelo fight. So in that regard, I think he's probably outside of Anthony Joshua and maybe a couple other fighters I don't know about because I'm not as I'm from the West Coast. I'm not as plugged in. He's probably one of the three biggest stars in the UK. It's good that people don't necessarily believe in him because I think that he's got a little bit of this uh, Chavez Jr. in him where people are tuning in hoping that he loses. And if his work ethic keeps up and his skills show in the ring, we could have a very interesting fighter on our hands because 
what was interesting about this fight was most quote unquote hardcore boxing people felt that this was going to be a landslide for Gale, and Eubank basically dominated from pillar to post in this bout. I think I'm not necessarily the best person to give my views on it, but I just, when you ask me this question, and I'm going to respond to these Twitter questions on here, I think the best comparison is everything we might have hoped for with Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. might happen with Chris Eubank Jr., um, I don't mind the couple of losses he suffered in his career because I think anyone that knows the sport of boxing knows this is not a transcendent talent in the sport. This is a flashy, entertaining, fun fighter who's learning on the job. Anyways, if you agree or disagree, leave a comment. If you really enjoy the content from production quality to some of the conversations we're having, be sure to like it. And if you just feel like you'd like to be involved and have more uh, these videos in your life, be sure to hit the subscribe button because all three of those things greatly help us get access to doing more interesting stuff with fighters and to have our, our voices heard more in the boxing sphere so we can actually impact and implement conversations in the sport of boxing.